I'm so excited to be doing my first Christmas video. Y'all, I love Christmas so much. And I put on my new fun glasses for this. So if you're in Houston, uh, I got an awesome eye doctor. The first one that I've ever found that I just really, really love. And not only that, but I've been going to the same eye doctor for years and they never told me they were out of network. They just basically billed me, gave me an itemized thing and, uh, and I paid it because I didn't think to ask if I could be doing any better. And I could have been like, <laughs> I've wasted a lot of money, but I, I got two pairs, like one series and then this one that's super fun, but I'm doing a super fun video so it works. I wore like my serious old glasses to the office and then came home and <laughs> I'm sorry if you don't like them. I don't think my mom's gonna like them. Mom, let me know what you think. Okay, so today I am going to be doing like just some random Christmas shirts and one bottom, one dress that I found on Amazon. And here's the thing, like I've always struggled to find cute, Christmas tops. I love them whenever they're funny. I love them whenever they're cute. I basically just love Christmas. Like I love Christmas tops. I love Christmas decoration. I just, yeah, I'm obsessed. A few years ago, I actually, we've got some amazing ladies in this neighborhood and I've got a friend who, who had a party and she's got seven children and is amazing. She hosts things and keeps her house clean and makes dinner every night. Like no clue how she does it all. Like superwoman. And she hosted this really cool party where she had a friend who does like sublimation and um, like this vinyl cutout kind of stuff. And you told her what size shirts you needed ahead of time. And then when we got there, like her dining room, like every piece of furniture was just covered in either like sublimations or these vinyl things that she'd already cut out. And then during the party, she would put them on your shirts and you would pay her like Venmo or whatever. And it was literally just like, Honestly, probably like my second favorite type party that we have in the neighborhood. We've got another one. I might get to it later, <laughs> but we have, I, I don't know. It's, it was just a really cool idea. I got four shirts out of it. This one's kind of hard to read, but I like it. It says, don't get your tinsel in a tangle. <laughs> and so, I, it's funny, it's funny. Okay, so what I decided to do was see if I could find some shirts on Amazon that would kind of feel my Christmas casual wear looks because I love wearing something Christmassy every day. And now these are not things that I could wear to the office, but there's so much in December that's not in the office <laughs> and that's okay. Basically what I'm trying to see, and I could already tell opening some of them up that they're not the quality that I would love, but we're gonna talk about it. So I'm looking to see for the price where the quality is. I definitely want to explore the fit uh, because we all know that like, all sizes, especially on Amazon, are not created equal. Uh, and then of course, the cuteness. So maybe even the Christmas cheer. We could throw that in there too. All right, so let's look at what we got here. So this one says, believe. I have an embroidered believe. Like I <laughs> did them on great big, I don't know, embroidery hoops, I guess, and they hang at the top of my staircase. And I just love it. Um, now, I will tell you that this is an incredibly soft fabric. I can tell that it will end up pilling. It's the type of fabric that's printed. You can see the white on the back. And so this is, I mean, like I said, it's very soft. I'm interested to see what it feels like on. And then this feels like a really nice t-shirt, but I think that the color contrast is really cute. I love every kind of Christmas plaid. I think that the colors on there are super cute. Contrast, they stand out. I've got some pants that, let's see, are also in this Buffalo plaid. And my idea was that I would match them up with this. I'm gonna have to see if they can go with something else. You can see that they really will definitely not go. This is a printed, I don't know, stretch. And I imagine that it's not gonna be super cute on certain parts. Like you stretch it, you see that white through. So I'm gonna save this for something that doesn't have buffalo plaid, so maybe it'll work out. Let's try this guy. All right, this is one that I think is definitely gonna stay here. It's a 3X and it fits like a 3X. I like the way the sleeves lay. This is my microphone, so everything's not gonna lay perfectly because of it. But yeah, I think that that the points on this like raglan tee are really working out. I'm 5'10". I know I say that all the time, but I think it's important. So the sleeves are long. All right, for me, that's great. I know that not everyone has arms as long as me, so I just want you to be armed with that knowledge. And yeah, the, the body of the t-shirt is really nice. I think the sleeves are very soft. Now, because it's that printed, if you look, whenever it stretches, you can kind of see the white through. I don't know how much that's going to bother me. I honestly don't know how it's going to wash. And then if I'm comparing it to like this t-shirt that I had 
kind of made for me. This is a much lighter weight material. This is like a true cotton shirt, so they are very different in that way, but I do like the way that this feels. I think that this one is one that I would be happy if I ordered one and it came in. Let's see. All right, there were a whole, whole lot of these style shirts. This one's exactly the same. I had so many to choose from that had different sayings on them. And this one says, have yourself a merry little Christmas. And it has the white buffalo plaid. So it's super similar and uh, yeah. Let's try it. Funny enough, this one actually fits differently than the last one. It's long, I mean like super long. And I really, again, I like the way that the shoulders fit. I think that oftentimes I'll get them and they just will either sit way too high. Sometimes the neck is almost choking me. I really like the way the neck's sitting on this one. I think that it's not too clingy, so I could put on leggings with no problem at all. My glasses do clash a little bit. Hang on, let me grab the others. And I'm totally not pitching glasses. I just literally picked them up today. And so I'm excited to see what they are doing with my face. So this is more for me than it is for you on the face front. I like this one as well. I want to tell you that this song, I had a really rough Christmas one year that the memories of will always kind of live on my heart. And for a long time, I couldn't listen to the song, Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas without uh, initially sobbing, then kind of choking up. And now I kind of listen to it with nostalgia and looking at how far like my life and my family and everything have come. And so when I saw this one, I was like, oh my gosh, I, I think I need that in my life. <laughs> and so I think that I've seen Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas go about feeling so incredibly alone to having like a beautiful celebration together. So uh, this is one that like, <laughs> has nothing to do with shopping at Amazon, but yeah, I saw this one and I really wanted it. So this is very similar to the other. The, the sleeves are not super breathable. <laughs> yeah, and the, and the body, it's a different kind of t-shirt material. I mean, it's definitely not cotton. These are definitely a synthetic. Yeah, 60% polyester, 35% cotton, 5% spandex. So there's a cotton element to them, <laughs> but they're mostly polyester. So I think that it's neat. Let's see what we have now. Okay. <gasps> arguably the best Christmas movie ever. <laughs> it's, and I say arguably because my family argues about it a lot. I've got an older brother and a sister-in-law who thinks that it is the worst movie ever made. And they are incredibly wrong because the best way of bringing Christmas cheer is singing loud for all to hear y'all. I love Buddy the Elf. Like that's one that I watch multiple times every holiday. Let me know if you have a holiday movie that you, <laughs> that you feel like that about. Like there are a lot that I just love to watch. I love watching Home Alone. We, what's that new one? Spirited, we started watching that last year. We really like it. We definitely always watch The Grinch. We watch both the cartoon and we watch the Jim Carrey version. We've got a whole list that we go through. Elf is absolutely the winner. Like hands down for me every time. And it's okay if you don't like it. I still love you. I'm gonna grab it and try it on. Santa's coming. Ah! Okay, actually it says Santa coming. Maybe there's an is somewhere on me. I don't know, but <laughs> this one so far is the biggest disappointment. It's a size 3X. In theory, I'm in a loose 3X. I am between a size 20 and 22, and this was supposed to be size 22. It's definitely not. It is like crazy tight on me. It's a sweater and I can pull it out just a teeny tiny bit back here. It's definitely going back. Just not bringing me the joy that I would like to receive from an elf sweater. And I also am missing the S. <laughs> Or it is, I don't know, y'all tell me. <laughs> but yeah, I think that it could be cute if it was sized appropriately. Sadly, these things happen. It's like a crap shoot, at least it'll be easy to return. So maybe we'll have better luck with this one. <laughs> so this is like the Jim Carrey Grinch movie. And it says, my day, four o'clock, wallow in self-pity. 4.30, stare into the abyss. Five o'clock, solve world hunger, tell no one. 5.30, jazzercise. 6.30, dinner with me. I cannot cancel that again. 7 o'clock, wrestle with my self-loathing. I'm booked. <laughs> okay, so I'm super positive. This is a super negative shirt, but you know what? We all know the story of the Grinch. It gets better. One thing that I'm not positive about here, though, is that this is like a sweatshirt, and it's absolutely a printed sweatshirt. So the inside is totally white. I'm imagining that this is going to have some, like, crazy stretch issues. I'm a little bit nervous about this bad boy. <laughs> but the, look at the back. It's pretty adorable. And then it's also kind of odd. The Grinch on the back is like the newish cartoon Grinch. And then the Grinch on the front is the old cartoon Grinch. And then the words are like the Jim Carrey Grinch. It's like into the Grinch verse. <laughs> okay. So we're going to try this bad boy on. 
This is like delightfully and a little oddly oversized. If I just let my arms go like this, my fingers are just barely kind of sticking out down here. <laughs> it's not stretching in any way. You're not seeing the white through. I just don't know what my thoughts are. Do you guys know what I mean whenever, when you feel the printed sweatshirt material? Like the inside's very soft, but I'm imagining there's going to be a lot of pilling. I think that it's probably after several washes, not gonna be as soft anymore and be real dotty. And this just feels so odd to me. It's not, certainly not rough. It just doesn't feel like a sweatshirt. And then it's also odd that the cuffs are printed too. So this is a flat piece of sweatshirt and then it's printed to look like lines. I don't know. I mean, I think this has its place. If you wanted a super cozy, like ugly sweater and you're a super Grinch fan, this could be cute. I personally think I'll be sending Elf back for sure. And this one's on the chopping block. We'll see. Next is the Christmas dress. It's just like a super simple buffalo plaid dress. I thought that this could go on and be something that I wore that's a little bit festive at the office. It could be something that I wore lounging around. The fabric is so incredibly comfortable. It's very silky feeling. It doesn't really feel like a t-shirt on the top. And then down here, it's like that printed material that's not quite as soft. But yeah, this top's very slinky. I'm excited to try this cute one on. So this is a very easy, very comfortable dress. My big concern is right here, you can see the white through the print and I see it kind of all along the waistband. And the only real problem with that is that you, you see like the real red underneath. I don't know, I kind of, like it though because it does feel like such an easy casual dress now also there are box pleats you can kind of see and that's not the most attractive on an apple body but again i think that it would be like the most comfortable dress toward the office you can jazz it up a little snagging some jewelry but yeah you can jazz it up a little bit with a necklace it has some great pockets like nice deep awesome pockets which i think every dress should have and it's got some good volume to it like rocking around the Christmas tree. Next, I'm pretty sure without trying these that they're probably going back because I just don't have anything that goes with them enough. It's the color is very, very off of every one that I've tried. Now I'm going to try it on with this, which is gonna be like Clash City because this has two different shades of Buffalo plaid. Like we've got the arms that are kind of a deeper red and then uh, this guy that's a brighter red and then we're gonna throw this guy at it which is kind of similar but this has a lot more orange to it. And so my thoughts on this one, I really don't know what I was thinking. Maybe I just saw the truck and I didn't see the words underneath it, but it actually says Merry Christmas, but it's in black on gray. And so I can't read it. We're in trier. Okay, I just put these on and my daughter's sitting over here and she's like, ooh, <laughs> the pants are bad. They're bad. Because of the way they go in and out at my larger and smaller parts of my legs, it really kind of distorts the print. Um, it's got white showing through. They are soft, but they're soft in that like super cheap fabric-y kind of way. I'm gonna put the black pants back on with it so that we can give the shirt a good shot. All right, so she actually said that the pants weren't as bad on as they were when I was putting them on because the print was really distorting and you were seeing a lot of white through, but either way, those are going back. Um, so this top, I might give another chance if there's another print to it, because look at these awesome pockets. It's almost like the hoodie with the, you know, the hand in the middle situation, but you've got like these big, nice side pockets that I really like. They're not something that I commonly have on just like an oversized shirt. Not wild about the buffalo plaid with the buffalo plaid that don't totally match. Um, and I really wish the Merry Christmas was like in a green or a white, but the actual cut of the shirt is nice. I like how long it is. It feels very much like a lightweight hoodie and I'm, I could go on about these pockets for days. I really, really appreciate them. So this one's probably not staying here because of the design, but I might be looking at it with another design on there because I think this shirt's fantastic. My very last one is, <laughs> is I'm worried it's going to be too small, but this is my Merry Christmas y'all shirt and I'm gonna go put it on. All right, she might be my favorite. <laughs> I really love the red up against my face. I don't know, I think that when I look in the mirror and I see red, I just smile. And I think that this one is pretty dang perfect. It does fit nice. Honestly, this is a 3X. I do think that it it's a little tighter fitting than some of the other 3Xs, which is just good information to know. The red is a little bit brighter on the sleeves than it is in the wording, but that really doesn't bother me. And I love that it says Merry Christmas, y'all, because those are two of my very favorite things, Merry Christmas and y'all. So I hope that you found something that you liked. I really did like that there were some items that we could find on Amazon. If we're looking for a little Christmas in a pinch. Amazon's got us typically in two days. So I'm actually popping back in because I almost forgot to tell you about the 
most exciting party that we do every year in the neighborhood. It's just a bunch of neighborhood ladies, like a bunch of different friend groups. In fact, last year, I think there were like 60 ladies there and it's called My Favorite Things. What it is is one of our awesome friends hosts it and she does it in her, I mean, it's actually in her backyard and then like also the whole downstairs of her house. We normally all chip in for some kind of food and then people bring sides and desserts and that kind of thing. What you do is you bring like three of the same items. So like this year, I am going to bring some wireless earbuds because I always have earbuds in. I have them in at work. I answer the phone on them. I think that they're amazing. They're some of my favorite things from the year. And then some people will bring jewelry. Some people will bring alcohol. Some people will bring like cutting blocks or kitchen appliances, just whatever one of your favorite things are that you can like try and pitch. And then you draw numbers like you would at a white elephant. And then like number one gets to go up and choose one thing, right? And so I go up and I think, oh my goodness, I would love a weighted blanket. I'm gonna take this bad boy. And then when it's my turn again, so then all like 50 people go after me, right? And then it's my turn again and I get to choose my next item. So basically I bring three things and then I leave with three things. And it's just a really neat process. Like last year I got this really awesome like Olaplex stuff for my hair. I ended up with a oh, some Tory Burch earrings, which was kind of awesome. And then I think I got a weighted blanket. So I think that that is the most fun. And then every year, like the friend groups kind of mix up, like some people bring some friends. And so it's just a really fun way to mingle. It's always a weekday, so I have to kind of take off a really super long lunch, but it is 100% worth it. We know what you think. I adore you. Merry Christmas, y'all. I will see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.